Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in my last video I actually talked about a few reasons that building a PC or even upgrading a PC in late 2017 really isn't that great of a value proposition. That being said, as many of you have pointed out in the comments in that video, which I'll uh, give a card to, uh, there are some good values in the PC building world, just not necessarily revolving around some components like RAM, SSDs, that sort of thing. So today I want to talk about those good value propositions within the PC building building community. So first up is the realm of PC cases, which I don't really talk about a whole lot on this channel because I just don't get a whole lot of them in. Um, I have several already and I don't really have a need to uh, buy more PC cases or review them. That being said, if you're rocking a PC that is either very old and has a chassis from an age gone by like uh, 2011, 2010 or even older, or you're just getting ready to build a brand new system, right now is actually a pretty good time to build a uh, PC or at least buy the PC case for your future build because there are some really good values out there. So take for example the S340 Elite behind me, it's the white variant. Right now on Amazon it's $80 and this is a case that features a uh, full tempered glass side panel. It has a power supply basement to shroud all those cables in secrecy so you'll never see them and it just offers all around great cable management, great aesthetics, and in a pretty compact form factor that will support pretty much all your hot modern hardware that you're going to want to put in there including good radiator support up front. But if $80 is a little bit too spicy for you, you can drop that down by $20 to the $60 price point to get the regular S340 Elite. Now you're giving up your tempered side glass panel but pretty much all the other features remain intact except for one SSD mount at least to my knowledge that's on the uh, side of the S340's uh, power supply basement. I don't believe that one's included on the regular S340 but everything else is there. Same great cable management, same great power supply basement. Another component in your PC builds that have been doing quite well for consumers this year has actually been the processor market, the CPU market, especially on the AMD side of things with Ryzen and actually Ryzen prices are really, really good right now, and I think part of the reason for that is AMD is sort of lowering prices down a little bit to get geared up for the Ryzen Plus, or with the Zen Plus, the refined architecture of the original Zen cores. So uh, right now, if you are hopping onto the Ryzen platform, you're actually going to be getting some really good deals. For example, the last time I checked, you can get a Ryzen 1700X for under $300. That's an 8-core, 16-thread processor for for under $300. It's a great value proposition and I believe the 1700, the non-X variant, is just a little bit cheaper even yet. And then there's the lower tiers like the Ryzen 5 1600 which is universally loved by uh, tech tubers and tech reviewers alike. Right now I believe it's right at the $200 price point for 6 cores and 12 threads. So Ryzen all around is a great deal. Also unlike the Intel side of things there are some really cheap motherboards especially the B350 motherboards that you can get for like uh, 80-ish dollars that do support overclocking. So uh, Ryzen, really good value right now. And that's not to say that Intel has nothing to offer. It's just that the KB Lake and Coffee Lake offerings are somewhat in line with what we expect from Intel. Though if you can find some of the Coffee Lake chips, specifically the i5-8400, they are a great value proposition. The problem is you just can't really find them right now. And also the problem that I have with recommending Coffee Lake, especially a non-K SKU, is you don't have those lower tier motherboards out yet for Coffee Lake. So you're stuck with an expensive Z370 motherboard. Aside from really robust offerings in things like computer chassis as well as the processor space, there are of course a lot of other great deals on uh, various PC components that aren't necessarily in as high demand as RAM, SSDs, and GPUs. For example, you can find hard drives at really good values from time to time depending on uh, where you're shopping, whether it be Newegg, Amazon, or maybe a brick and mortar store like Fry's or even Best Buy sometimes can have some pretty good deals on their or hard drive offerings, you just sort of have to keep your eyes peeled for those. And the same goes for other things that are not really thought of a whole lot, but very essential to a computer build like uh, your CPU cooler, for instance. Uh, there have been a lot of times I've been walking through a Fry's and have seen refurbished uh, H100 IV2s for about 75 bucks. And uh, that's the exact cooler that I run in my system. And that's exactly where I got that cooler for, again, a really good price. So the takeaway here is that, yes, there are some components in your PC 
you see right now that are uh, drastically overpriced for what you want to be paying for them. And it makes it really difficult to build a good valued PC in late 2017. Things like RAM, SSDs, and especially AMD graphics cards make it really difficult to part together a really solid system on a uh, somewhat tight budget like that. $500 price point's really tough right now. But obviously there are still deals out there for you to find, whether it be on certain components that you don't necessarily replace all the time, or whether it be on just uh, hard to find components that happen to go on sale from time to time. It's all about keeping your eyes peeled on the Amazon's new eggs and fries and other brick and mortar places uh, in the world and just looking out for those deals. So let me know in the comments down below, what are some good PC component deals that you found in the recent past? And if they are still active, leave us a link so people can go and check those out for themselves. Let me know those down below. And of course, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things down below do help out the channel a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.